That's a hard one. I think I have the best ideas for season three. <laughs> so Liz Ambian should hire me. I feel like you never know. Like she could come up with anything. Hi, I'm Frida Argento and uh, I play Sarah in uh, Young Royals. Hi, I'm Nikita Ogla and I play Felice in Young Royals. And today we are playing Who's Most Likely with uh, Cosmo UK. The biggest royal fangirl is Nikita or Omar, I would say. Omar, I was thinking Omar. Well, somewhere between us two. Omar is definitely the OG. Uh, fan girl to Young Royals. He talked about it being a massive success even we even had finished shooting. So yeah, Omar is definitely the OG fan girl. So. I was thinking Samuel and Nils as well. Or us, of course. I think every actor has amazing chemistry on screen. That's why Young Royals is what it is. Um, but I personally love to just watch when um, Stella and Fredrika, the actors um, Mimi and uh, Felicia, uh, when they <clears throat> do their scenes because their chemistry is just so great and uh, it's just so much fun to watch them get at it. And uh, a lot of their things are improvised also, which just tells how amazing actors they are. Okay, I changed my answer to the Mimi and Felicia. Yeah, we have like uh, one where we uh, have a sleepover. So a lot of it was improvised and some not, but they work really well. That's a hard one. That would be like August and Simon. I don't know, but I would want to see Madison with someone. Uh, but she's in her own league. Uh, I don't think she would go with anyone. In but I would want to see you with someone. Maybe Sarah and Madison. I definitely feel that. I've read some fan theories, uh, but not much. But I, I found one Instagram page once. I can't remember what they're called, uh, but they wrote like. Yeah, fan theories or that, like their own story. And I found it really interesting. It was fun. It was good. The Zambian should take notes. <laughs> yeah, I don't I don't know what to expect and I don't want to like go into that. I feel like you never know. Like she could come up with anything. I think I have the best ideas for season three. <laughs> so Liz Ambian should hire me. Maybe the fans have the best ideas. Or I don't know. Hmm. Uh, I know that I answered to a lot of fans DMs in the beginning. Uh, I answered to every single one of them, but now since this, the series has become so massive, it's impossible to answer just every single one of them. But I do read a lot of them. There's a lot of really, really heart, heartwarming messages that I get. I feel like me, because I do that sometimes. I like to like go into groups, because in my DMs, we ha I have like a lot of groups where people are like talking about us and all of the news. And sometimes I like to like go into those group and just write, hi you guys, and they will <laughs> out. It's so much fun. Nikita is definitely the most romantic one. She's just a romantic, born one, will always be one. I feel like that's me. I don't know, I just romanticize a lot of things. And I love love even though my love life doesn't go so well. Uh, but when, I, when I'm in love, I'm like really hardcore in love. I'm like the type of like for Valentine's Day, I will like go out of my way and bake like hard shaped cookies and everything like that. I would make an awful royal, I think. Uh, <laughs> So definitely not me, at least. Omar or Nikita, I think they would 
they would they feel the most royal already i would say so maybe one of them maybe omar i would also want to say like omar because i feel like he would like not take from, from anyone omar because i feel like he's a little he's like cute and out and about and like yeah I think maybe Nikita or Omar most likely to post Instagram thirst traps. I posted my own kind of thirst trap after the uh, season one premiere. More like I teased our fans with me and Nikita almost kissing and stuff like that. <laughs> I think that every member of the cast has best friendship. Because we all have very, we really care for each other. I think August. Because I feel like there's a lot to say there. I feel like there's a lot to go off of. But I feel like Rousseau could get one as well. Because I want to know, I want to know how she ended up at Felice's house. Maybe August. I would want to see um, him before when Young Royals takes place, like his background, his history, his villain arc, so to say. Uh, but no, I really would want to know what happened to that young man because I find him really interesting. I want to know. Uh, but I would also really want to see a spin-off with uh, Nils and Vincent. I really like them. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching and make sure to watch Young Royals season two on Netflix. <laughs> Bye.